welcome to Randomator Reviews. I'm Ran, and I'm going to talk about PG Psycho Goreman. So the film opens with Mimi and her brother Luke playing some really complicated game in their backyard, to which the loser has to dig a hole, and I believe that they're buried in it. But they find this weird box with a glowing crystal, which of course Mimi dislodges, and go to bed as you do, something terrible happens and releases this creature, which they find, and she, Mimi, who has the gem because she won the game, realizes that she can control this, like, terrifying space warrior with a gem. They figure out a name, Ding, it's Psycho Gorman, or PG for short, and she just recklessly abuses this power over this bloodthirsty killer for the movie and uh as he was set free he was obviously imprisoned and those who imprisoned him are now aware that he's out and are going to come to earth to defeat him and a whole bunch of stuff happens in between which is glorious a uh, childhood friend gets turned into a walking brain creature and it was kind of adorable there's a lot of stuff with uh, Mimi and Luke's dynamics with each other, as well as you see the dynamics between their parents and them and their parents, and it's all very interesting. I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler-free. What did I like about this movie? I liked Mimi's character for the most part. She gave me a lot of Louise Belcher vibes from Bob's Burgers, which, who doesn't love that? Just very self-aware. <laughs> sometimes not so self-aware, very, very, very confident, and just completely reckless. Just She's a tiny little badass, although sometimes very annoying. She was pretty cool. I liked that she was the strong character, and her brother Luke was kind of the more meek and timid one. Even though he was older, he kind of just goes with the flow with her, which... With his character development in the movie, he does, you know, realize he has to assert himself at some point because this, you can't just be walked on your entire life. You can't have your friend just be turned into a brain randomly. This movie was really funny. There were a lot of intentionally funny scenes as well as probably not so intentionally funny scenes that I enjoyed. I liked the character design a whole lot. The, uh... The baddies that would follow Psycho Gorman make an appearance at one point, and their costumes are great. Some of them reminded me a little bit of Guar, but I really liked that they weren't just the stereotypical monsters you would think. Some of them were these really complex creations, and I felt as though the, the effects team did a really, really good job on them. I liked that not all the, the blood in the movie was red. A lot of it was, like, blue or green or black, I think. It gave me a little bit of, like, the, the villains in the Power Rangers show from the 90s a whole lot, which just sparks nostalgia and joy in my heart. I love that so much. I thought it was funny that they never really dropped the true F-bomb. Mimi would a lot, a lot, she would say frequently, frig you, which just made me think immediately of the Trailer Park Boys with Randy yelling, Frig you, Julian, you know. We, we love that show in this house, so that, that made me really happy. I could have done without the Frig you song. I, I didn't need that. I cringed a little bit. I'll admit that. I didn't, I didn't need that. Um, what did I dislike about this film? Uh, the, the Frig you song definitely didn't need... I, I, as much as I did love Mimi's character, I did feel like she became a little grating and abrasive and just like a little bit too much, like almost to the point where I wanted to punt her. But I feel like that was kind of the purpose of her character. That's just how she needed to be. Uh, the mom in the film, I felt so bad for her. There was a part where the the dad just like destroys the kitchen, particular the, particularly the microwave. And she's just like, what the hell? Like, what did you do? And he's like, cooked my dinner. Or cooked my dinner. Cooked my family a delicious dinner. And you could just feel the rage bubbling up inside of her. 
because he's just so dense and that that made me mad for her you know i felt for her like come on man he wasn't working she was working and he would just presume that she was going to deal with everything which is not cool she she definitely had a a glow up in the end i appreciated that um I, I mean, there's not too much that I disliked about this film. It, it's a fun time. It wasn't, like, overly gory. It wasn't overly gross or suggestive or anything like that. So I feel like a lot of people could watch this film and enjoy it as well. You don't have to have, like, a niche like, like, you're in it for weird aliens or gore or anything. It's, like, a little bit of everything. And there's a lot of funny stuff in it. You know, maybe... Psycho Gorman does like hunky boys. Who knows? There it was, It's a fun watch. It's a fun time. I recommend it. I would give it probably like a 3.5 out of 5 for what they had to work with money. I, I feel like they didn't have a large budget. It was, it was a nice movie to watch. It was shot pretty decently. The effects were nice. The costume design was great. The creature design was great. Just great. Just a great time. Have you seen this movie? Let me know your thoughts. I think I rented it on Prime. Um, I don't know that it's streaming anywhere for free yet, but probably soon. I know it's a 2020 release. We're into 2021 now, so it's only a matter of time, but definitely give it a watch. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as Reviews with the Groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'll see y'all later. Frig off.